Yeah, it's great for the competitors to come over and say that about this track. And again, I refer to it in my open, Timmy, as one of the last great bobsled tracks of the world because there's a danger element. Third place entering this final run. They'll need a strong start, at least challenging that 494. And 499, to me, a competitive start. Uh, look how clean he is there in that exit. Everybody else having problems there. That shows his experience. Again, Tout, six foot two, decathlon background, Lenny Paul. Uh, both these guys came from the, uh, being British soldiers in the track and field program with the British military, and they come into bobsledding uh, with some very good athletic backgrounds. Well, Tout and all of the drivers jockeying for about $25,000 in prize money, so every hundredth of a second counts as he makes his way down the track. Yeah, as clean as he's been in all four heats. So Tout looking pretty smooth here on the bottom. Let's watch for the ice spray here in zigzag. Zig, not bad at all. Great speed. He's got about a quarter of a second lead over the Canadian sled that just came down. That's the time he needs on the left to move into first place. He does it, 55.35. Great Britain has moved into the lead. Great heat, Timmy. That's reflective of that great exit of Shady. No ice spray and zigzag. So Mark Tout, when the money was there, he reached up and grabbed it because he's at least guaranteed third place in this competition. Now Tout finished fourth place in the four-man in the world championships, but handling his own up high there in the two-man. In zigzag, he's letting it go, though, but watching zag, look at that back end of that sled come around it. Airborne, a little bit of ice spray there. Watch him hit here and let the sled just bounce. Ricochet rabbit, doesn't touch the runners. Smooth trip for Mark Tout and Lenny Paul. 341.66, guaranteed at least a medal here in Lake Placid. In second place, entering the final heat, Tuffy Latour, USA sled number one. Though Latour's family grew up in this area, Latour actually traveled a great distance to get involved in the sport of bobsledding. Well, I was in, uh, I was stationed in England with the U.S. Air Force, and um, I was on temporary duty in Germany, and I just happened to open a base newspaper one day, and I saw bobsledding in there. Before that, I never really, I heard about my grandfather bobsledding, but I never saw a bobsled up close or had been out to the track or anything like that. And uh, rode into the Air Force. Um, they sent me back all the information I needed. I came up to Lake Placid, came over to Lake Placid from England on leave and uh, tried out for the team. And Link Sanu was in Calgary at driving school, and then it just propelled from there. And John, it continues to propel because Tuffy just qualified this year for the World Cup, found himself doing very well from the start of the season right on. Well, he, he cut his eye teeth on this track here, and if you start driving here, those other tracks are a little bit easier to do well at. I mean, he's a great pilot. He lacks at the start, but 5.01. I'll give him credit there. Him and Jones just came down in the best start of the four heats. Look at Jones's technique here. Uh, Tuffy will get the sled pretty early. Tuffy's got too long of a stride there. Jones, good track and field background, football player at Duke University. Power and speed you need. That's why they had a 501 uh, start there, Tim. Well, Latour has about a two tenths of a second lead over the British sled, which sits in first place. That can be an eternity in the sport of bobsledding. Well, remember the last team, he had a horrific ride down the track. A little bit of skid there, he corrected it very well, and he's smooth here. This is what he should be able to do, is master the part of part of this track. But boy, he was bad there in curve 12 too, Tim. He knows the track better than anybody. He's been down more than anybody else in the last four years. Well, this is the record holder on the track, one of the few that has had a time of less than 55 seconds. He doesn't do it here, but a respectable 55.16 hand thrust in apparent victory as Latour has moved into first place. 55-16, same time they had in the first heat, Timmy. Track conditions have deteriorated for him to come down and post that type of time. Awesome trip for USA 1. Watch him here in zigzag, though. Little steering here in the crossover. Watch the back end of the sled and the transition. Great transition there. No ice spray. That's where he nailed it, Tim. That's probably the best exit and entrance of zigzag we've seen so far. Well, handshakes and hugs all around amongst these bobsledders. A long season winding down, and it will end with this sled. In first place, entering the final heat, Germany number one, Wolfgang Hoppe, the brakeman, Rennie Hanneman. 
He's got a big lead, 4,400 to the second lead. That's not what you want to give this guy with one heat to go. He needs a 55-60 to move into first place. John, the irony of all of this is Hoppy, despite all of his accomplishments, says winning means nothing. He's in this for the love of the sport. Well, Timmy, bobsledding is an addicting sport. You take your first ride, you walk to the parking lot and never see it again, or everything else is irrelevant in your life. That's what's happened to Hoppy in his lifetime. All he's matched up with is uh, three gold medals, two silvers and a bronze in the Olympics, and seven world titles. And Timmy, the reason he's so successful, the good start times, good techniques at the start. But where this guy's the MVP is driving down the track. Well, by one hundredth of a second, he's ahead at the latest split. He has some time to play with. About a half a second lead over Latour. Look at this guy. Look at him. He's playing right there, Timmy. He's just looking for the safe line, not the fast line. Now he's at a curve 12. Watch him in zigzag. Let's look for the ice spray if we see any. No, look at that, Timmy. He's such a master. Oh, there's some problems, though. As soon as I gave him some accolades, he made a mistake. But he should have that, Timmy. The 37-year-old former East German is considered the best driver in the world, and he is just that today in Lake Placid, New York. Three. 41.13, Wolfgang Hoppe and teammate Rennie Henneman have captured the Bodine two-man bobsled challenge. No, I don't think anybody's embarrassed about losing to this guy. There's a little congratulations from Tuffy. Watch him here in this corner here, diving out of the big shady corner, probably like nobody else can. Look at the runner tips here, Timmy. He's playing with the sled right now. See that? Do look at that little adjustment he made right there. Look at that. He's just trying to look for a safe line there. It's not a fast line, but with 4,500's lead that he had, he could have that safe line, not the fast line. Wolfgang Hoppe of Germany. It may not be as impressive as his trunk full of gold medals from the Olympics, but some prize money and a big victory on a tough track. 15 hundredths of a second back, the USA and Tuffy Latour. The British third, Canada one, and Pierre Luders in fourth place. American Bill Tavares ends up seventh. The Jamaicans win the popularity contest, and when we return, we'll wrap things up.